do or do not. There is no try. Sup fams, welcome back to my Star Wars Marathon reviews, where I review all nine original Star Wars films, including two special films. So today we'll be covering Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Coming up right now, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back was released in 1980. It is directed by George Lucas's film professor, Irving Kirshinger. Stars once again Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, even Alec Guinness is in it, David Prowse slash James Earl Jones is Darth Vader. Well, James Earl Jones is the voice of Darth Vader. And for, for the first time, we finally get Frank Oz as the voice of Yoda. Hey guys, Javi here, and right now as I'm, ed I'm right now editing this video, and I forgot to mention that for the first time we get introduced to Billy D. Williams as the coolest guy in the galaxy, Lando Calrissian. All right, back to the review. So before we before we move on, I once again will mention I will be covering the theatrical cut of The Empire Strikes Back. And once again, spoilers. So yeah, let's get on with the story. So the story is Darth Vader, after the death after the destruction of the Death Star, Darth Vader basically basically is on a hunt to look for Luke Skywalker. So then they they finally found the rebels on Hoth, and now the rebels actually had to defend themselves in an amazing, amazing opening battle of Hoth. So then the heroes escape. Luke, instead of meeting up with the rest of the rebels, he goes to the Dagobah system to find Yoda to train to become a Jedi Master. While well, Leia, Han, C-3PO, and Chewbacca are actually being pursued by the Empire and a bounty hunter known as Boba Fett. So they meet up and they also face betrayal by Lando Calrissian and Luke Skywalker tries to face Darth Vader to try to defeat him. But, but what happens is that he finds a secret that he does not know. So yeah, let's actually get what I kind of don't like about this movie is... Uh, well, there's maybe the pacing, even though I love how slow paced this movie is, it's a little bit too slow sometimes for me, but then again, I don't know. If I, I the, but then again, the more I rewatch The Empire Strikes Back, the more, more the pacing just becomes much better for me. But yeah, that's, that's the only thing I kind of don't like, but then it gets more of a nitpick, so let's just get on what I really like. And once again, cinematography is great, the acting is once again great, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford, and David Prowse, and the, James Earl Jones. As the voice of Vader does an amazing performance, and Yoda, Frank Oz's Yoda does an, ama does, an does an amazing performance too. The music is great too. I love it. It's just as good as the first Star Wars, which is A New Hope. Cinematography is right. The effects are just much better, in my opinion. Holy crap! Especially the stop motion effects on the AT AT walkers, oh, or the AT AT walkers. It's just amazing. But yeah, the Battle of Hoth is just amazing. The action is amazing too, especially the my favorite moment in the film, aside from the Hoth battle, is the is the lightsaber duel between Luke and Darth Vader. And of course the cinematography is just gorgeous as hell. And what I also love is that Darth Vader finally established himself as the main villain of the series now. Or something like that. Like he finally gets more he finally is the, gets a much bigger role here. And man, it's just every time Darth Vader's in it, he makes his presence known. It's just awesome. Like he just chokes his his freaking employees or whatever. His fellow friend his fellow his fellow people and just his, his fellow officers and man, he just doesn't care. Luke, I just love Luke, even though he becomes kind of a dick when it when it comes to Jedi training, he's just Great, and also love how the reveal of Yoda is because at first you're like, oh, who's Yoda? Like, he's is it this fame? Is this amazing, great Matt Jedi Master? No, he's just this little goblin-looking guy that's looks very. He's very old, but he's strong with the Force, and I just love his teachings. How you, yeah, you have to do things rather than try things, and I just love how the stakes are being raised more. Like the rebellion has been defeated, and. It's just nothing's going well for our heroes. Like Leia, Han, Chewie, and C-3PO are just being chased by the Empire and they just really are just going through hell through a lot of stuff. And also there's this bounty hunter Boba Fett that they hire so they can track him down. But mostly Boba Fett is there because, well, Han owes something to Jabba. He works with Jabba the Hutt and now he wants to get Han just to bring, you know, bring him to Jabba or whatever. <laughs> so he just wants the bounty, that's it. Oh yeah, also let me get onto a nitpick that I have. From I think Boba Fett's a bit overrated. Yeah, he's pretty overrated because 
I mean, I know that he's supposed to look cool and just stand around and look cool and he doesn't do much, whatever. It just that also makes him cool and he's a bae. But yeah, but then again, I don't know, man. He just doesn't do much for me when it comes to that. I think he does more in The Re Return of the Jedi. And honestly, people compare him to Darth Maul in here. I gotta say, this is an unpopular opinion. At me if you want. I prefer Darth Maul over Boba Fett. At me. Come on, at me. <laughs> yeah, over there. Yeah. But I also, and the, my favorite, of course, my, my, the scene with uh, Luke battling Darth Vader. It's just amazing. I just love how Darth Vader at first just fights Luke with just one lightsaber and just pushes him out. Well, Luke is just using both hands and he just can't, he can't with him. And I just love how there's dialogue and there's stakes being raised as they're fighting. It's not just a huge choreographed battle like in the prequels. Well, I love the prequels, but still here... It just feels like Luke's in danger. You really felt his danger, and especially how just Darth Vader was just like, let your hate, let your hatred destroy me. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. He really wants Luke to be a, a Sith, a Sith Lord. But yeah, and also, man, Luke got his hand chopped off, but oh man. And also, of course, the twist and the reveal that Darth Vader is Luke's father. I mean. Come on, one of the greatest twists in movie history of all time. And I also love how Urban Kirshner kind of sort of went against, sort of, he sort of went against L George Lucas's vision, how you should do a bit safer here, but no, Urban is like, no, I want to pay portray this realistically. I want to portray the characters just right. I also want to, since, I also want to make this movie just more appealing towards a older audience. That's what he did. It's like with the, there's this, this a line where before Han gets frozen in carbonite, the original line when, after he kisses Leia, Leia, and then, and then Leia just says, I love you. Han's supposed to say, I love you too. But Urban was like, nah, let me just, that's not really Han. So let me just change it to, I know. And that's why it, and so they use that and, it's just, it's just better. That's Han. And George didn't like that, but whatever. Then again, George says that this is his least favorite Star Wars film, but whatever. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about the movie. It's, it's it get a lot of stuff has been raised. It's very ambitious too. It takes a lot of risks. It subverts your expectations and the action is just all around better. The effects are better. The score is, in some ways, is better. It's just, yeah, I can see why people think it's a better movie than A New Hope. But honestly, I prefer A New Hope a bit more than Empire Strikes Back. But that is not to say what's what I'm going to say right now. If I were to give this movie a rating, I'll still give it a 5 out of 5. It is a masterpiece. It is, a, And it is one of the best movie sequels of all time. So yeah, that is my review for Star Wars Episode 5 of The Empire Strikes Back. If you guys liked this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share it with your friends. And make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications. So this is Javi from Hive Productions signing off. And next time we'll be finally covering a movie that I really loved one of. Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. And hope you guys enjoy the show. And may the force be with you. Always.